Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo for the month of February or from the time that you view this video, these energies can be in play. Now, uh, key, keep in mind, it is a general reading. That means it may or may not resonate with you. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Check your other placements. Your messages could be there. But if they aren't there, if you don't find your messages there, then simply check back in the following week when I put out um, a new message for your sign. And I usually put out a couple of messages each week. So if you want to be uh, notified uh, of these uh, upcoming videos, then please hit the, su the subscribe button. Um, so there we go. All right. Let's begin. We are going to the heart of this reading uh, and we have the card of air, the nine of swords, the card of charity and the four of cups. So this uh, is telling me that you're right now, this is, and, and this could be your energy or the other person's, or you, you will know somebody who's really up in their head doing a lot of thinking. Um, there can be fear with that Nine of Swords. There can be guilt um, with the card of air. Uh, this could be imagination uh, or some imagined fears. Now, we do have charity. So this is about um, charity in the Four of Cups. Okay, so there's somebody here that I feel you are in love with or that you have very deep heartfelt feelings for okay and there was a disappointment with this person um with that four of cups being there okay so um and maybe you're fearing the worst maybe there there's a lot of imagined fears surrounding this situation but let's go deeper and we will find out it seems as though in the past, there was um, confusion surrounding a new beginning or whether or not uh, you would have this new beginning because it seems like there was something that was being compared, comparing one thing to another um, when it came to that, uh, that new start. So there was a lot of confusion. Um, Somebody may have felt uh, with, let me see, with the emperor and the pipe. Okay, wait, I'll, I'll go to the pipe first because the pipe would indicate that um, they were suspecting that there was going to be trouble. They may have suspected with the emperor that, uh, that, that <laughs> it's like that having that victim mentality and and with these cards that's exactly i'm sure that's exactly what it what it was they were trying to shed their light on this uh, new beginning or the possibility for one they felt that uh, it, it didn't sit right or that they they may have been uh, or perhaps were going to be taken advantage of and i feel like in this case again referring to the emperor um they sacrificed their connection to the relationship, most likely brought it to an end. Okay, this is escaping. Escaping, and you probably didn't even uh, expose the reasons why you were escaping. You may, because with the high priestess, she doesn't talk. You may have just left unexpectedly. You or them. Because you thought... Uh, that someone had bad intentions. That's that's what this is. It's, it's escaping uh, someone's. Well, the, in the story, it, it's uh, it's like escaping somebody's wicked intentions. But um, so that's what that card means. So this is. Um, so they 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 cut their their connection to this person to save themselves, so to speak, right? Or what they thought. But let's remember, we have the card of air, the imagination, and the nine of swords, which makes this even more, it, it's like, it just takes it deeper because it's like having it twice, you know? 
And um, so it's a lot of imagined things. And so the pipe says, oh, don't expect trouble where there is none. So I feel like uh, something may have been, it's like the storm in the, in the teacup, you know, uh, something small that got blown out of proportion by the imagination. So this is a situation that ended badly. We see it here with the Five of Swords, you know. There you go. Something happened um, and the book got closed. But now you see there's confusion. There's confusion um, about what happened. And the hangman speaks, uh, yeah, see, we have the hangman and the five of swords. See, he didn't want anything to jump out of the box and surprise him. That's why this all happened. He suspected something, although the imagination was working overtime. Really, um, uh, the imagination ran with it, and he got frightened, scared he was going to be taken advantage of, or scared he was going to get his heart broken, um, and had to make that choice. So he made the choice to um, sever that connection, but now he's unsure. Um, it was, you know, with the Five of Swords, this is like a, a short-lived victory, you know, um, where both people lose. And I think that there's a realization of the loss here in the hangman on, again, that Five of Swords, you know. And now it's like, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix things, you know, with the hangman energy. Um, it speaks to trials and difficulties, um, something in suspension. Whatever this is, though, um, it speaks to a situation that can be changed um, when the time is right. The hangman, um, often this situation is of his own making, you know. So he's struggling to find a solution to whatever situation put him here. It could be, like this card begs the question of, uh, has he sacrificed something or, you know, or was he the sacrifice? You know? So, and, and clearly back here, he thought he was going to be the sacrifice. So, instead, he sacrifices the connection. But he's still in love. We have the love card here. This can be an offer of love. Um, or an expectation of one. Or hope to get one. It speaks to love and happiness, attraction, affection, romance. And it's coming with the Four of Staves. So the Four of Staves speaks to welcome news. It, again, we're talking about romance. And it's coming with the Six of Cups. So this can be somebody... Uh, who just suddenly appears out of the past, resurfaces. Um, it could be simply that you're dreaming of this person from the past, missing the situation, you know, seeking information on how you could fix this, possibly. Going back and forth on ideas. In this position, he's typically waiting for enlightenment, right? Seeking answers. So 
um, he's again seeking here because you see he's in this nine of, of coins energy and he's looking at death so he's looking at um, how this has transformed he is missing this it's like he needs this one thing in his life because it's only nine coins he doesn't have the tenth coin and he's seeking um, clarity on how to transform that situation that he's in to it's like fulfilling uh, that empty place within him or her this is about the justice card it is about the extension of the olive branch to lay down the fight to put an end to conflict to do the right thing to speak the truth to get to the truth that is what this is about now yeah. So here we have it's like a flare up of emotion, a flare up of passion as you think about this person or this is vice versa, okay? Um with this um night it's a very intense uh, passion and it can even indicate um, it can even indicate like you tr you know uh, trying to you know it's like a you're both you both uh, have this um, have these thoughts like you're mirroring each other So what we have is somebody is going to return from your past, but they are going to be guarded. Um, the, we have the announcement of the visitor. And this could happen. We have it here again, you see. The olive branch. Uh, this is the news arriving. The results will be in. You will have the results um, with regards to... Um, this is two people holding one coin. So whether there will be this partnership forming um, this reconciliation, you will have that answer within three, a three, three, three weeks, three months. Okay, you, uh, I don't think you're going to actually see this coming. Um, so I feel like the message comes in and takes you by surprise out of the past and we have the message here this is to discuss the options okay here's the message here's the options here is detangling this mess and relighting breathing life back into the flames This is what's coming. And here is somebody weighing up whether or not to have this reunion of a romantic nature because it, it's a situation that's very fragile, you see, with the, with the cards. So, um, as a final message, we have the third quarter moon, okay? It is a card that's saying adjustments are required here. So, think of yourself as a vessel that's been filled uh, more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there's also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether there are 
toxic emotions involved which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get to where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast. Um, now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. So um, these events have to be understood and acted upon in order for this change of course to occur. There could also be uh, what might seem like a crisis now, which will remind you of what you want and uh, what it is time to actually let go of. So when this crisis happens, please pay attention. Trust is going to be required to move this situation forwards. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.